Hi, this is Luke with The Gamer, and I'm going to show you how to win big on the chicken racing minigame in Like a Dragon Eshin. What could be so complex about betting on chickens, right? You say which one you think is the fastest, and you put your money down. Well, Like a Dragon Eshin isn't about to take the easy way out. Instead, it buries you in options and provides a ton of data for you to pass. What do the symbols mean? Why are the past results for each chicken presented as a three-digit number? What the hell are these arrows about? Wait, what is this dividend list option? Am I betting on chickens or investing in the stock market? It can be a bit overwhelming at first glance, and the game doesn't really do a great job of explaining what it all means. Thankfully, we are here to help you. The chicken racing minigame can't be started until the third chapter of the game, when you can start entering Rakugai. Once you can, you can find it just south of the blacksmith, behind this blue curtain that has a random man standing out front. The race minigame itself also has a bond associated with it. Every time you attend a race and leave, your bond with the attendant will grow. You don't actually have to bet for these interactions to take place. If you just show up, attend a race and leave without betting, your bond will still grow with him. And once you've nearly maxed out your bond with the attendant, they will ask you to pick a chicken for them. Your options will be Wondercrest or Tosan Pride. Don't worry too much about this because it actually doesn't matter which one you pick. Regardless of your choice, you'll have picked the right one and your friend will win. And as a present, you'll be given the glorious reward of a broken compass. Well, it is the thought that counts. So, there's a lot of visual information to unpack when you're trying to pick a champion chicken. For starters, you'll be able to buy tickets, start the race, look at the race schedule, or exit. You don't want to start the race until you've bet, but you don't want to bet until you've checked out the race schedule. This way, you'll be able to get a lay of the land. You will be able to scope out the races and find ones that feature a more lopsided roster of competitors and figure out which race you want to bet big on. If you're struggling to understand what all this data means or why any of it's relevant, don't worry, because we'll get onto that. There are an overwhelming number of options facing you the moment you go to buy a ticket. With terms like Quinella and Exacta, which may not mean anything to you, but they are just fancy ways of saying how many chickens you want to bet on simultaneously. Buy single win is obviously the most straightforward option. You simply place a bet on a single chicken that you think is going to win the race. If you're buying a Quinella, then you're choosing which two chickens you think will place first and second. It doesn't matter which order. And yes, we are aware that you are putting a number one and a number two besides the pair of chickens you're choosing, but that doesn't necessarily mean they need to finish in that exact order. You just need to correctly identify the two chickens that come first and second. The exacter option lets you choose the specific order of finishes. This is obviously pretty risky, but the payout is absolutely massive if you nail your prediction. You can choose to select the order of the top three, or try and predict where every chicken will finish in the race with the exacter option. Finally, the dividend list is just a way of accessing single win, quinella, and exacter options all from one location. While this is super useful if you want to place multiple bets, it is pretty limited as you can't see the chicken stats from here. Finally, check tickets just shows you all the bets you have made, and finish buying will take you back to the previous menu, where you can start the race. And now on to mankind's most important question, how do we understand the chickens? From the buy single win, buy quinella, or buy exact menus, you're given a range of information on each chicken competing, and typically you'll want to delve into a chicken's race history as well, because this data is extremely useful for giving you a rough impression of which chickens are most likely to be competitive in the race. First of all, these arrows that are next to a chicken's name often indicate the chicken's health. An arrow pointed upwards means they are in brilliant health, while an arrow pointing downwards means they are in bad shape. Obviously, the better condition they are in, the more likely they are to win. The next one is past results, which indicates how a chicken has performed in their last three races. So let's use Rooster Booster's past results to explain this. In its last race, Rooster Booster came second. In the race before that, they came fifth. And in the race before that one, they came third. Then there's the prediction column, which has a range of symbols that can probably seem pretty confusing at first. So let's explain this one. The double circle symbol means they are the favorite to win. A single circle means they are second most favourite, a triangle means they are predicted to have an outside chance, and an X means they are unlikely to win. And if it's completely empty, then it means they are considered to be the weakest competitor in that race. These are pretty crude predictions, but they give you an idea of how strong the chicken is at a first glance. 
The higher the prediction, the more likely it is to be accurate. The final column is payout. And this one's pretty simple. Whatever this number is will be multiplied by your bet if you correctly guess their finishing position. Getting into the nitty gritty of all this information will absolutely give you a better understanding of a chicken's strength as a racer. While a lot of this information is already summarized in the betting screens, there is vital information that is exclusive to the detail section. More specifically, in the detail section we can see the length of each chicken's previous races and the condition they were in at the time. When you are diving into a chicken's history, this is the single most important factor. One chicken may have a sterling record coming first and second in nearly every race, but if the length of the previous match is different from the current race, that is a huge red flag, because some chickens dominate in long races but are slow starters. Naturally, this leads them to be extremely poor at short races. The other important factor is their past condition. Results don't always tell the whole story. Sure, a chicken's past results may have been great, but was their chicken in peak condition? And if so, what condition are they in now? Similarly, a chicken who performed poorly in their last couple of races but was in bad shape could be ready to break out if they're healthy now. If you look at the history of the races and you realize there are a number of unknowns that are making matters extremely complicated, you might be better sitting that race out. So the big question you're probably asking is how do you make money from this? Well, our recommendation is going to be simple. First, abuse the game's save functionality and save outside the building. We're going to be making big bets and there's always a possibility that you'll lose everything. You'll want to start by looking for a race that features a particularly strong competitor. So use the race schedule function to poke around and assess the best race to participate in. Then what you're going to do is invest in your chicken of choice. This means you're going to go to the dividend list and bet on every single quintuple configuration which has your chosen chicken winning first place. You can place a maximum of 300 tokens and you'll be betting on 16 different races. After that, if you win, head outside and save. And if you lose, head outside and load your previous save. You should be able to quickly accumulate tens of thousands of tokens this way. But what can I do with all these winnings, I hear you ask? Well, if you've amassed a small fortune, head over to the gambling den to the east of where you are now, and here you can exchange your tokens for prizes. They have some choice weapons, or if you like, you can buy platinum plates and sell them to a pawn shop for a pretty hefty chunk of change. What you want to do with the winnings is completely up to you. So that's our guide on how to win big on the chicken racing minigame in Like a Dragon Ishin. Thanks for watching, and check out thegamer.com for more. Thank <laughs> you.